I've recently been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube talking about disappearing for a year, going, going to the gym and grinding for a year, disappearing, cutting off all your contacts, no social media, and coming back like a different person, like a brand new person, changing your life. And I've been seeing a lot of these videos recently and it made me think about my experience a year ago when I disappeared for a year. And yes, the progress that you make is definitely there, and it is beneficial, but a lot of the videos didn't really talk about the mental side of things. The mental struggle that was definitely there, dealing with the loneliness. And the truth is, it made me want to talk about it because I did this, I did disappear for a year, but I didn't, I didn't disappear for good reasons. What you've been seeing recently is kind of the truth about what it's like to actually disappear. You see, I used to be very, very close with this group of friends in secondary school. And then when we went on to college, I was still with them. We all, most of us went to the same college, but I wasn't really part of the group anymore. They kind of, we kind of moved a little bit apart from each other, just sort of a little bit distant. I was with them, but they were finding new other people that they were hanging out with. So every time I was with them, you know, sitting outside and during our lunch break, they would always be talking to each other about stories that they had did outside of school, the parties that they went to, parties that I was never ever invited to. So I would always be sat there just listening from outside, not even really participating to the conversation. I was just there because I had no one else. I did try and make friends with other people, and I did eventually, uh, and I made, I actually made friends with lots and lots of people, but in truth, I didn't really feel like they were really good friends, I didn't really feel like a proper friendship, so I ended up going back to my old friend group, but things were still distant, we weren't, you know, we couldn't, things weren't ever going to go back to the way they were. And it made me sort of think about the reason that people disappear in the first place, and it made me think about the reason I disappeared. And it's usually because of this masculine aggression, hate, that we disappear. Usually because something's gone wrong, we kind of hate the situation we're in, so we decided to say, fuck you, and disappear. I disappeared for a year, saying that it was like, oh, it's, it's because I want to travel and go around the world, which was lies, I just told my friends that. But, but it wasn't true. I kind of disappeared and left college and went on on my own journey, kind of just to prove a point. Literally just to say, all right, fuck you. I hate the I hate the fact that I am not included in anything anymore. So I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna go. Um, it was just kind of proved to prove a point. But you know, leaving right, leaving college, going into the typical nine to five work life balance going to the gym, grinding every single day, not on social media at all, with no one at all, no friends or anything, just by myself, completely lone wolfing and grinding away, aiming to become a different person because of all this aggression, all this hate, all this sort of reason to just prove a point. It was really tiring. Imagine disappearing for a year, grinding, yeah, improving, but you're doing it because out of aggression, out of hatred, out of just to prove a point to someone that you can become better. Like, okay, you missed out. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm now better. Like, doing that for a year with all that aggression and hate, I mean, it's quite negative. Staying negative all the time. Yes, I was improving, like, physically, you know, but staying negative all the time is negative. I felt terrible. Mentally, I was constantly angry at the world, at everyone else, because of how lonely I felt. I was constantly angry at the world, and to be honest, even though I was improving, you know, on the grind, I still felt really unhappy. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. Thinking and staying negative all the time is negative. Show me your closest five friends and I'll show you your future. This is a quote that really made me think about how I was living life when I was in that very dark period. You know, and I started to think, uh, I saw started seeing all these self-improvement YouTubers, you know, and I started to think about like the top 1% man, 
the top 1% man surrounds himself with friends that align with his purpose. And I really do love that quote, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you your future. Because you are the average of the people that you spend your time with. However, that's where I left and disappeared for a year for the wrong reasons. My friends were good people, they just, I wasn't being included. I didn't choose the good people to have around me, I just cut off everyone because I hated how I felt. With the poor mental health that I had and dealing with loneliness on top of that, it sucked, it sucked. But loneliness isn't the problem, it's the mental health. My mental health was so bad. If you think about it, the me whilst I was in school with those friends where I wasn't included in anything, where I felt really alone before, then after when I disappeared for a year, my mental health was the exact same. Nothing had changed. All I did was disappear. I still had terrible mental health. And it was only when I actually started to improve my mental health was when I started to feel better. And that's the truth. That's what it's like disappearing for a year. I did it because I wanted to prove a point. But whilst that was the reason, it was also the reason why I neglected my mental health completely. And things only got better when I actually started to take care of my mental well-being. When I was disappearing for a year, not just grinding at the gym, but also mentally getting healthier. So if you decide to disappear for a year, things aren't going great so right now. You know, things aren't great. Maybe you're in a very similar position that I was. You're having very similar reasons to why you want to disappear. Lone wolf it, go under the radar and disappear for like three months and then grind at the gym and become a different person. Don't disappear out of just pure hatred and aggression to prove a point. When you disappear, have the sole purpose of how much can I improve? You want to see how much you can improve, mentally and physically. Aggression is good, you know, it is great for when you start to get things done, to get the ball rolling, because we need that aggression to get the ball rolling, otherwise we won't take any action, but staying negative all that time isn't particularly healthy either, and I didn't feel great. I only started to feel better when I actually took care of my mental health. By the way, if my old friend group are watching this, I have no regrets or anything any any hatred at all whatsoever i have a huge respect f for you guys my old friend group um obviously you know the memories that we all had all shared was a great and i wouldn't change it for the world and to be honest that's because i'm happy that i am where i am right now anyway i just wanted to make this video because i've seen a lot of videos talking about it recently and they didn't really reveal like the mental side of things and i was like wait but the mental side of things is very important. Why would you not talk about it? Anyway, another video is going to pop from the corner. You can click on it if you want. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, come here. Someone prove it.